Explain how to use this motherfucker and demonstrate. I have it on video. I got a beer. It comes up with one blank track already. What you do is you insert a new track. You just right click over here in that gray area. And insert a new track. And then down here, you can drag up one of your instrumentals and set them on that new track. Okay. Now you got two tracks up there. One with that red button armed and one of them here that just has your track that you're gonna record on. Mm -hmm. From that point, you hit this back button there to go to the start of the project, and hit record. Hit record a track. Play some music. Right now it is, going, it is recording. <coughs> it's playing it out of this. It's playing out of the headphone jack there. So if you have speakers, you put them to the headphones there. It'll work. Or, you what? see it's also got those line outs right there. Yeah. Anything that, like a, like that receiver that Jeremy's got, yeah. it'll do this shit right there. Um, I, got a, I got a cable to give you where you can also plug speakers into that. Hell yeah, I need that bad. I got a speaker, we just got to dig it out of that back room. We ought to do that. It sucks when you ain't got no sound, though. And whenever you want to record again on the same track, go to the starter project, and then hit record again. How do I go to the tracks that's on it, and like, if I don't like it, I want to erase it? Like, if you want to start a new project? Yeah. If you want to start a new project, you can go up here to File. Yeah. Go to New Project. Yeah. And, you know, you can say yes or no, depending on what you want to do. I'm gonna put no right now. And now you got a clean project again. No songs? Is like starting over or what? What about the ones I saved on it? The ones you saved on it, if you go to file. Where you, okay, file. Where's file at? Up here. Okay. You go to file. Yeah. And you go to open project. Yeah. It goes to your project directory. And anything saved in there will be there. It don't look like we have any saved projects on this one. Alright. Okay. But when you do save one, like, uh, let me go and save this last. Let me save this one right here. I'll just put something on there just for shits and giggles. Yeah. I'll do save all projects. I'm just gonna name that one. And EX, for example. Then when you go to file and open project, you see that's that project that we just saved. Okay. And it'll open it. Okay. That's about it, really. How do you change your uh, voice and shit on it, like he's doing? You gotta add effects to the track. Show me how to do that. You can right click on the track itself. See that right click right there? Yeah. And... Actually, we'll go here to Mixer. You see that FX button? Yeah. All the effects are in here. Anything that you can put, all the plugins you can put on it. There's... Verberate, Surround Sound, Pitch, EQ, all kinds of, and I don't even know half of these myself. I usually use Verb and EQ. Yeah. And how you smooth out your uh, lines like he was doing? Yeah, 
And when you use the scroll wheel in here, it'll make it bigger or smaller. And if you hold control while you're doing that, it'll make it bigger or smaller. Show you one more thing. Look up at it. You go to help. Hang on, let me look. Okay. That help at the very top. Yeah. Documentation. Yeah. And quick start. Re quick start Reaper right? quick start. It's that fourth option. Okay, right there. And it gives you a manual right here. And this manual tells you how to do all the simple shit. Like. General shit like insert track. To name the track. Shows you how to turn the mixer on and off. Shows you all the editing controls. It's all pretty much the, the basic controls of this. The basic functions that people will want to do. Okay. I like that. And what is this? This is like a DJ setup or something? This is, they call it a digital audio workstation. A DAW. Yeah. Reaper, uh, fucking FL Studio. So this is like having your own studio. It's just all in your computer. I mean, this is what professionals use. They use a DAW. They got an interface. Like, there ain't none of those big studios no more. Yeah. They use, used to have all those damn rack effects and shit. Yeah. Everything is digital inside this DAW. And you just download, like, say you wanted to plug in to do a... What they call that shit that people hate? Auto-tune. You know, everybody hates auto-tune all that uh, shit like T-Pain does. Yeah. You would download a plug-in, and when you run the plug-in on top of your track with that FX button, bam. That's how all effects are done now. Can you try this? Huh. That means all I gotta do is go uh, get them speakers and unlock that, hook it up, and then we can try one. You got some speakers, you'll yep. be able to hear and record, or you can use headphones. I you got the, regular headphones? Yeah, I got the thing, like if you got quarter size headphones, yeah, but, or if you got regular small ass headphones. These right here? Can you hear it with these headphones? You don't need them big ass headphones like we're using, do no, you? No, that's why I got this adapter right here. That way you can hear it while you're singing? Mm-hmm. And all I do is hook up the head or the speakers. And, and, this, and this direct monitor button right here, that's important. You want that to be pressed down. When it's down, yeah. that means anything that comes through here yeah. will directly come out of here. So you can hear yourself and whatever's playing. Okay, and then where do you hook the microphone up at? In the back somewhere? Uh-uh. Right there up front on this XLR jack. All I gotta do is get a stand. Hell yeah. Hook up a fucking amplifier. I got one. I usually make ghetto stands, but <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I make ghetto stands. I'll cut some shit out of a box or something like that. Yeah. But we don't need it plugged in now. I just wanna know how to do it, okay? Now we'll get the speakers and we'll continue this education on how to work this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, if you want to later, we can bring that motherfucker out there and I'll, you know, show you, like, we'll go through it multiple times. Because what happened, man, I had a friend and he didn't know how to work this at all. But, you know, after watching me do it multiples and multiples of times, it, you know, it made sense. Because yeah. right now I'm telling you to do that shit and it don't make a lot of sense. That's why I'm putting it on record. That way I'm going to study while you, uh, I listen. The only thing that's really important. Yeah. Is your tracks gonna be the, you know, your fucking, uh, your background music, your instrumentals gonna be on one track? Yeah. And on another track, that's gonna be where you record. Okay. And that record arm button has to be armed. You see, it's got nothing under it right now. Yeah. When you arm it, it says it's coming from line one on the fast track. This is line one on the fast track. Where's line one? The mic. Okay. All right. I got about 10 minutes worth of study in here. So if you're not armed, it won't record anything. If you're armed, 
whenever you hit record, everything drops on that track. And uh, you just click at the arm it, right? And press that button, right? Yeah, you just click that red button right there. So if I got that one armed also, yeah. it's gonna record on both of those. You can record on as many as you want to at one time. Hmm. I know a lot of tricks and shit with this shit too. You can also right click down here and you actually can add a track to through there. This is just to, the controls to show them. But that's your master track. And these are the two tracks that we put right here. Okay. You can name it if you want, you know, like you just put in clip right there. Put a name on You know, say, you know, that's your voice track. Or you can put, you know, vocals. When I'm actually doing projects, I name them. So now you got your, you can see down here, you got your vocals track. We got this track. And that's your instrumental track. So that one has to be armed. Most of the buttons that are up here on this track controls are the same buttons that are down here. Like you see me moving that and it's moving on the vocals track up there too. That's how you adjust the pitch and shit. This is just volume. Okay, make it louder. So, you know, if you want your instrumental to be real quiet and your voice to be real loud. I like it like half and half. Or if you want yeah. just about anything, if you double click on it, it'll go back to normal. Like I said, all the way, fucking way 22. Okay. Double click on it, it'll go back to zero. All right. All right. That's the basics, huh? That's the very basics. We'll hook it up later. We'll get on it later. And I'll show you more of it. And like I said, once you once you get the basics and you get the handle on how to throw tracks and shit on there, then you'll get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you'll know how to go and figure out harder things. Mm -hmm. This shit, I mean, it, it didn't take me too long to learn this, but it did take like... It probably took like four or five hours of just sitting and fucking with it. But I know how to show you the quick shit now. And if you think you fuck up on it, you can just uh, reset it the way it was. Have you ever fuck up on it? Yeah, that's what File. I mean. Hang on, let me see. File, new project. Yeah. New project. Okay, now I can see it. Go to that, and it'll fix everything? Yep. Now you know, you know what else I'll do for you? What's that? I'll make a, a list of keyboard shortcuts that you need to know. Like I'll just like write them down, like I'll type them in a file. Yeah. I'll make the keyboard shortcuts you need to know. Yeah. Like Control Alt N is new project. Mm -hmm. Control T is new track. Control Shift A is arm tracks. I'll write those down. That's why, that's how I pop them up so fast when I'm doing them. Yeah. Okay. And you always got your buddy Control Z, undo. And Control Shift Z, redo. So if you accidentally do something, you can, you know, redo it or undo it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna grab them speakers and uh, we'll hook it up. And we'll continue this project at a later time.